Do we go on where we left off yesterday, or would you like to start something new? Oh. What do you? Uh, well, I thought you know there were, was a point that wasn't entirely clear where you know what we were discussing yesterday, which is that we rather accepted that uh, you know that uh, security, psychological security, was wrong. You know, was the illusion, but. In general, I don't think we made it very clear why we think why it is a delusion. You see, most people feel that psychological security is a real thing and quite necessary. And when it's disturbed, or when a person is frightened or sorrowful, or even so disturbed that he might be psychologically disturbed and <laughs> require treatment, he feels that psychological security is necessary before he can even begin to do anything. That's you see, right. and uh, I think that. It isn't at all clear why one should say that it, it's really not as important as physical security. Yes. No, I think we made it fairly clear, and we? let's go into yes. it. Yes. Is there really psychological, psychological security at all? Well, I, I don't think we discussed that fully last time. Of course. Of course, there, nobody accepts that. Mm -hmm. But we are inquiring into it. Mm -hmm. We are going into the, into the problem of it. But we said something even deeper, I think, yesterday, and that is that, at least as I, I was summarizing for mm -hmm. myself, and that is that we felt, correct me if you think I'm wrong here, that the conditioning and uh, conditioning sets the stage that for the importance of psychological security, and that that in turn mm -hmm. creates insecurity. I mean, it's the conditioning that, that creates the psychological security as a focus. Well, would you agree with that? I think we two mean something different well, for me. Yeah, well, what do you mean? First of all, sir, we take it for granted that there is psychological security. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, we think that we can get it. We feel that there is. Right. That's right. Well, We've yes, I think that if you told somebody who was feeling very disturbed me uh, mentally that there's no psychological security, he would just feel a lot worse. I mean, of course. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. I mean, we are talking of fairly sane, rational people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are questioning whether there is any psychological security at all, permanency, mm -hmm. stability, a sense of uh, well-founded, deep-rooted existence psychologically. Maybe if we could say more then, what, what, what would be psychological security? I mean, after all, say, I believe, I believe in something. And that may, gives me... It, it may be the most foolish belief. Mm, right. A neurotic belief, I believe in it. Right. And that, and that gives you a tremendous sense of existence, living, yeah. and vitality, and stability. I think you could think of two examples. One is if I could really believe that after dying I would go to heaven and be quite sure of it, uh, then I could be very secure inwardly, no matter what happened. What? That would make you feel good. Well, I'd say I don't really have to worry because it's all a temporary trouble, and, and, and I'm pretty sure that in time it's all going to be very good, you see. Right. That's right. the whole Asiatic okay, yeah. attitude, yeah. more or less. Right. Or if I think of, I'm a communist, and I say, in time, communism is going to solve everything, and we're going through a lot of troubles now, and, but, you know, it's all going to be worthwhile, and it'll work out, and in the end, it'll be right, all right. Right, right. If I could be sure of that, then I'd say I feel very good, uh, secure cool. inside, even if its uh, conditions are hard. Okay, all right. So, so, so we are questioning, though one has these strong uh, beliefs which gives them a sense of security, Mm -hmm. permanency, whether there is such in reality, you mean actuality... I'm, it's not possible. I mean, the is question it is, is it possible? Is it possible? Right. I may believe in God, mm -hmm. and that gives me a tremendous sense of... Right. Uh, <coughs> ...impermanency of this world, but at least there is permanency somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. But David, let me, I want to ask David something. Do you think that, for instance, take a scientist, a guy who's going to his laboratory every day, or take a doctor, 
he's getting security well, from not, going to. I mean, he uh, he takes security from the very routinization of his life, from his knowledge. His yes, knowledge. from his knowledge. If, if he keeps doing this, he feels. And the scientist, where does he get security? Well, he may, may believe he is learning the per, per, permanent laws of nature. You know, really getting something that uh, means something. Yeah, and also getting a position in society and being sure of his uh, being well known and respected and uh, financially so secure. He keeps. He believes that these things will give him the, the thing. Uh, the goal. The mother believes that the child will give her security. Right. So don't you psychologically have security? Yeah. Okay. Uh, faith. <laughs> right. You're, yeah, that's a, that's a good point. I get a security out of my knowledge out of my routine, out of my patients, out of seeing my patients, out of my position. But there's conflict in that because if I think it over a little bit, I, when I, I doubt it. If I question it, I say it doesn't look all that secure, right? Anything may happen. I mean, I say there may be a war, there may be a depression, there may be a flood. Right. right. There may be the same people all of a sudden in the world. <laughs> <laughs> you think there's a chance? <laughs> uh, so I say that then there's conflict and confusion in my security because uh, I'm not sure about it. You're not sure about it. But if I had an absolute belief that in God and heaven... I, this is obvious. I, it's obvious. I agree with you, it's obvious. But I think it has to be, in other words, it has to be really felt through. No, but uh, you... Right. Dr. I'm, I'm, I'm willing. Yeah. And you're the victim. Yeah, the I'll be the victim. For the moment. <laughs> okay. Don't you have strong belief? Right. Hmm? Well, I wouldn't say... Uh, uh, don't you have a sense of permanency somewhere inside you? I think I do. Psychologically? Yeah. I, yeah, I do. I mean, I have a sense of permanency about my intention. Intention? I mean, you know, Your about knowledge. my work, my knowledge, my... Uh, my uh, status? My status, the, the, the continuity of my interest. Yeah. You know what I mean? In yes, other words, yes, uh, that, yes. uh, 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 there's a sense of security in the feeling that I can help someone yes. and I can do my work. Okay? Yes. So, I mean, though, that, that gives, gives you security. Yeah, there's a certain something about it that's secure. I yes. don't feel, what, it, what am I saying when I say security? I'm saying that I won't be lonely. No, no. Feeling secure that you have something that is imperishable. Which means, but no, I don't feel it that way. I feel it more in the sense of, am I going? What is going to happen in time? Am I going to have to uh, depend on what is my time going to be? Am I going to be lonely? Is it going to be empty? No, uh, no isn't so that I mean, security? I mean, as Doctor Bohm pointed out, if one has a strong belief in reincarnation, as the Holy Ascetic world has, then. It doesn't matter what happens. In your next life, you have a better chance. You might be miserable this, this life, but next life you will be happier. So that gives you a great sense of, well, this is unimportant, but that is important. Right, right. And I, that gives me a sense of great comfort. Mm -hmm. Great sense, uh, as though I was, well, this is a transient world anyhow. Right. And eventually, I'll get there something permanent. This is this is human. This is in the, this is in the Asiatic world, but I think in the Western world you don't have that. Oh yes, you have it. You have a different focus. Of well, course, all, but it's different. But you always had the search for security. I mean, either you. Right, right. But what do you think security is? I mean, what, for instance, if you became a scientist, you went to the laboratory, you pick I up the books all the time, <laughs> right? Uh, you never well, went to the laboratory, but I mean, you've had your own laboratory. What the hell have you called security? Security? Yeah. I mean, what does he call his security? His having knowledge? something. No, having something to which you can cling to and which is not perishable. It may perish eventually, but at the time, for the time being, it is it is there to hold on. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. can feel that it's permanent. You see, mm -hmm. like somebody in the past, people used to accumulate gold because gold is the symbol of the imperishable. They could feel that gold. We still have people accumulating yeah, that, gold. We got businessmen. They got well, money. That gold in the field. really, you feel it's really there. It, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, you know, it'll never right. corrode. It will never vanish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you can count on it. You know. Yeah. 
So it's something that I can count on. That's what count that, on, hold on, hold to, on to, cling to, uh, be attached believe to. in exactly. the me. And I, I know I, uh, that I am a doctor. I can depend on that. Knowledge. Right, knowledge. Experience. Experience. Uh, and the other hand, tradition. Tradition. I know that if I do this with a patient that, that I'll get this result. Yes. I might not get any good results, but I'll get this result. Yes. So well, I think that's fairly clear. Well, what, yes, yeah, it's clear enough that we have that. You see that that's part of the uh, society. Part of our condition. Our conditioning, that we want something secure and permanent. Uh, 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 at least we think so. But we want immortality. I think you see uh, uh, Krishnaji's point about uh, the Eastern world. Uh, there is, I think, a feeling in the West of wanting immortality. Which is the same, same thing. I well, see wouldn't you. you say that insofar as thought uh, as can project time, that it wants to be able to project everything all right in the future as far as possible? That's what That's I meant a, when I said loneliness. If I don't have to have my loneliness. But you see, in other words, the anticipation of what is coming is already the present feeling. And see, if you can anticipate that something bad may come, yeah. You already feel bad, right? Is that incredible? That's right. right. That's Therefore, right. you would like to get rid of that. So I mean, you would like to anticipate that it won't happen. It'll all be good. Right. You know, I should say security would be the anticipation that everything will be good, good. in the future. It will continue. Right. Right. Or it continue. will become better. If it's not so good now, it will become <coughs> good with, with absolute <coughs> certainty. So then, then security is becoming? Yes, becoming, uh, perfecting. Right. Becoming I was thinking of what you were saying the other day about the Brahmin. He, anybody can become a Brahmin, makes, then that gives him security. If yeah, I know I can... Say, oh, that is a, a, a projected belief, a projected idea, a comforting, sig satisfying uh, concept. Right. You see, I see patients all the time. You know what their, their projected belief is? I will become... Uh, they will, I will find somebody to love me. Uh, I see patients who say, I will become the chief of the department. I will become the most famous doctor, one man <laughs> said. I will become, and his whole life is, goes like that. Of course, it's also all yes, focused yes, on being yes. the best tennis player. Yes, the best of course, of course. Well, I mean, it seems that it's all focused on anticipating that uh, some, that uh, life is going to be good. Would you say that? that uh, yes, um, life is going to be good. But you know, it seems to me you wouldn't raise the question unless you had a lot of experience that life is not so good. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, in other words, that it's a reaction to uh, having had so much is? experience of disappointment or suffering. Or mm -hmm. Would you say that we are not conscious of the whole movement of thought. No, but I mean, I think to most people, they would say that's only very natural. I mean, I've had a lot of experience of suffering and disappointment and danger, and that's unpleasant, and I would like to be able uh, to anticipate that everything is going to be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it would seem, I mean, at first sight, it would seem that that's really quite uh, natural. But I mean, you're, you're saying it's not now, something is deeply yes, wrong we with say, it. Yes, uh, we are saying there is no mm. such thing as psychological security. Yeah. yeah. No. We, we have defined what we mean by security. Yes. We don't have to beat it over. No, 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 no. We, I think we've we, got, we've got that. that. Yes, right. but is it clear now that, you see, these hopes are really vain hopes? I mean, that, that, that should be obvious. I mean, that, yeah, that, I think, is a good question. You mean, is it, uh, there is, you see, Krishna he, he's raising a good question. It's this whole business you're saying, is it, meaningful to look for security. Is there such a thing? So there is death at the end of everything. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, you want to be secure for the next 10 years, that's all. Or 50 years. Afterwards, it doesn't matter. Or it does matter, then you believe in something. That there is God, there is, you will sit next to God on his right hand, or whatever it is you believe. Mm -hmm. So, I'm trying to find out not only if there is that there is no permanency psychologically, which means no tomorrow psychologically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that hasn't yet come out. Clearly. Of course, of course, of course. You see, I mean, uh, we can say empirically we know that the, these hopes for security are false because first of all, you say there's death. Secondly, no, you can't count on anything. No matter materially, everything changes. Everything Socially, is in flux. Changes. 
mentally everything in your head is changing all the time. You, yeah. see, you can't yeah. count on your feelings, you can't count on enjoying a certain thing that you enjoy now. Mm -hmm. Or you can't count on being healthy, you know, you, you, know, you can't count on the money. Mm -hmm. And you can't rely on your wife, you can't no. rely on nothing. Right, right. So that, that's a fact, and I'm, but I'm saying you're suggesting something deeper. Though, yes. Seems to me. I mean, we don't base ourselves only on that observed No, I know that's very superficial. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm with you there. <coughs> so is there, then, if there is no real security, basic, deep, then is there a tomorrow? Psychologically. Mm -hmm. I, and, the, and then you take away all hope. If there is no tomorrow, right. you take away all hope. Mm -hmm. Well, what you mean by tomorrow is the tomorrow in which things will get better, I mean... Get better, with better, mm, more, mm, greater success, greater yeah. understanding, greater... More love. <coughs> more love, you know, the whole mm -hmm. business. <coughs> uh, that, that, I think that's a little quick, that jump. Oh. And uh, I think that there's a, there's a jump there, because as I hear you, I, I hear you saying, there is no security. But it is so. It is so. But for me to say, or for, for to really say, look, I know there's no security. Why don't you say that? I, ah, I'm not... that that's what I'm getting at. Why don't I say that? Well, isn't it a Why fact that there's I no, don't? I don't know. Isn't it, first of all, a fact that, uh, just an observed fact that there isn't anything you could count on psychologically? Right, but you see, I think there's an action there that Krishna Ji is saying, well, why don't you? Why don't what? Why don't you? He, he says, why don't you say there's no security? Mm -hmm. Why don't I? Can I, may I, do you rationalize what we are saying about security? Hmm? Say yes, as an idea. Or actually so? I actually say it so, but then I say, well, I'll Maybe. keep doing it, I'll keep doing it. No, 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 no. We are asking, do you, when you hear there is no security, is it an abstracted idea? Or an actual fact, like that table, like your hand there, or those flowers? I think it mostly becomes an idea. That's just it. Then why should it become an idea? Yeah, that's that, what? I think, is the question. Why does it become an idea? Is it part of your training? Part of, yes. Part, part of my of, conditioning. Part of real objection to see things as they are. Right. That's right. Because it, it moves. It feels like it moves then. Mm. Do you feel that? Well, if, it seems if you see that there is no security, uh, then the self, uh, well, I mean, it seems that, you see, first of all, let's try to put it that uh, there is something which seems to be there which is trying to protect itself. Namely, let's say that, that it seems to be a fact that the self is there, if you see what I'm driving here. Of course. And if the self is there, it requires security. And therefore, the, this uh, creates a resistance to accepting that as a fact and uh, puts it as an idea only. You see what I mean? That mm -hmm. It seems that, this, that it, the, the factuality of, of the self being there has not been uh, denied. You see, the apparent factuality. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, right. But why hasn't it been? No. Why do you think it hasn't been? I mean, what happens? Is it that you refuse to see things as they are? Is it that one refuses to see that one is stupid? Not you. I mean, one is stupid. Yeah. That to acknowledge yeah, that one is stupid is already, you follow? Yes, yes. I mean, it's like you say to me, you refuse to acknowledge you're stupid. Well, let's say it's me. What is, that means that I, then I'm, then I'm, I got to do something, it feels no, like. No. I mean, something happens to me. Not yet. Action comes mm, through perception, not uh, through ideation. Right. 
There's, I, I'm glad you're getting into this. Yeah. yeah. But doesn't it seem that as long as there is the sense of self, the self must uh, say that it is perfect, eternal, and so on, do you see? Of course, of course. Uh, but, but what do you think it is? What makes it so hard to say? Uh, is this what you mean, by the way, when you talk about the destruction in creation? Yes, in other words, yes. is there something here about the destruction that, I, that I'm not... You I'm, must destroy that. I must thing. destroy that. Mm. Now, what makes it hard for me to destroy I mean, destroy this need for security. Why can't I do it? <laughs> no, no, it's not how you can do it. You, you see, you're already entering into the realm of action. Yes, that I think is a crucial point. But I'm not. I should first see it. Mm -hmm. And from that perception, action is inevitable. Yeah, that I think is crucial. All right, now... To see insecurity, do you see insecurity? What do you, do you actually see it? What? Insecurity. What? That ah, no. No. Do yeah. you actually, do <laughs> you right. actually see? There is no security. No. That you are, that you are clinging to something, believe all the rest of it, which gives you security. I cling uh, yeah. to this house. Right. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. That I'm, I'm safe. It yes. gives me a sense of uh, my house. Hmm? Yes. My father. Place my, to go. I, I mean, if it gives right. me pride. It gives me a sense of possession. It gives me a sense of physical and therefore psychological security. Right. And a place to go. I, a place to go. But to, I may walk out and be killed to and I've lost everything. Yeah. There might be earthquake and everything gone. Do you actually see it? I actually... I mean, you do... So, go to a poor man. He says, of course, I have no security. But he wants it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's secure. He says, well, give me a good job, hmm? beer, <laughs> mm -hmm. and constant work, and mm -hmm. a house, mm -hmm. and a good wife and children. I have, that's my security. Right, mm. right. Well, that, that. When there is a strike, he feels lost. Yeah. But he's got a union behind him. Right, <laughs> right, right. And he thinks he's secure. Secure. And that movement of security enters into the psychological field. Mm -hmm. It's my wife. I believe in God. I don't believe in God. I, if I'm a good communist, I will have a good belief for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? <laughs> you see, may I the seeing or the perception of that is total action with regard to security. Yeah. I can see that that is the total action. Uh, no, that's an idea, still. Yeah, you're right. I begin to see that, that this, th I yes. begin to see that this, uh, this belief, this whole structure, mm -hmm. uh, begins to be the whole way that I see everything in the world, right? Right. I see, and I begin to see her, the wife, or I begin to see these people mm -hmm. all, they fit into that structure. You, they, see, you see them, your wife, your Lord, through the image you have about them. Right, and to the function they're right. serving. Their relation to me, yes. yes. That's right. That's the function so, they so serve. The picture, the image, the conclusion is the security. That's right. Yes, but you see, what, why does it present itself as so real? You see, see there is a, uh, I see that there is a, a thought, you see, a process right, of right, thought right. In, uh, which is driving on, I say, continually. Are you asking, why, why has this image, this conclusion, this, all the rest of it, become so 
fantastically real. Yes, it, it seems to be standing mm -hmm. there real. Everything is referred yeah. to it. You it see. More real than the marbles, than oh, yeah, the hills, than, than the anything. Yeah. More real than anything. Why? I think it, it's hard to say why, except that it seems to, because it would give me security. No, I no, think no, it would give, no, would we'll give me much security. Further. No, because, you see, the, suppose abstractly and as an idea we can see the whole thing and has no security at all, right? I mean, just looking at it uh, right. rationally and abstractly. But, but that's putting the cart before the horse. Well, no, right? I'm just saying that if, uh, uh, if it were some simple matter and giving that much proof, you would already have accepted it, you see. Uh, I mean, if this... Right. 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 I mean, but uh, when it comes to this, n no proof seems to work. Right. Nothing Be seems to because work. Because there seems that uh, you, you say all that, but here I am presented with a solid reality of myself and my security, which seems to deny... See, there's a sort of a reaction as if I'm saying, well, that may be plausible, but it really, it's only words. The real thing is me. Do you right. see? That's the sort of a... Uh, now, uh, well, but there's more than that, though, to it. Why it, ha why it has such potence. I mean, why it, why it seems to take on such importance. Well, maybe, but I'm saying that the, it seems that the real thing is me, uh, which uh, uh, is all important, right? Right. Mm. Yeah, there's no question about it. Me, me, me is important. Which is an idea. Right. But it doesn't, uh, you know, it, 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 we can say abstractly it's an idea. The question is how do you break into this uh, process? I think, no, I think we can break th into it or break through it or get mm -hmm. beyond yeah. it. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Only through perception. Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh? Yes. Yeah, because otherwise uh, every thought is in, involved in that. Yes. 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 Because I want to get through it because it'll make me feel better. Because, yes. Right. And that's, that's right. the trouble that's is right. that all that we've been talking about uh, is in the form of ideas. They may be correct ideas, but they won't break into this. Right. right. Because this dominates the whole of thought. That's right. I mean, you could even ask, why are we here? Are we here because we wanted no, to... No, sir. Look, if I feel my security lies in some image I have, a picture, a symbol, a conclusion, an ideal and so on, I would put it not as an, an abstraction, but bring it down. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. I, it is so. I have a, I, I believe in something. Right. I be, actually, now you so say, why do I believe? Well, have you actually done that? I mean, yeah, no, I haven't because I have no belief. I have no picture. I don't go in for all that kind of game. Yeah. I said if. If, right. Then I would, I wouldn't, I would bring the abstracted thing into, into a, a perceptive reality. To see my belief, is that? See it. To see my belief, yeah. right. To see that me in operation. Yes, if you like to put it that way. So, wait a minute. Take a simple thing. Have you a conclusion about something? Conclusion. A concept. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I think I do. Now, wait a minute. How is that brought about? Well, through... Uh, uh, take a simple thing, not complicated. Right, take right. a simple thing. A concept that I I am an Englishman. Well, no, well, the trouble is that that you know we probably don't feel attached to those concepts. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> I mean. Uh, all right. Let's, let's move. Let's take one. Let's take one that uh, I think I you, like to do. You, let's take me. On. Let's say, take about the one about being a doctor. That's yeah. easy. A concept. That's a concept. Now that's a conclusion based on training, based on experience, based on. Uh, the uh, enjoyment of the Which work. Which means what? A doctor means, the conclusion means he is capable of certain activity. Right. Okay, let's take it. Concrete. Yeah. Concrete. Okay. okay. All right. So now I've got the fact that there's a concrete fact that I've had this training, I get this pleasure from the work, I get All this kind of feedback, I got a whole community of feed in. Yes, yes. Books move. I've written. Papers, positions, I move, hold. Move, move. All right, all right, all that. Yes. 
All right. Now, that's my belief. Yes. I mean, that belief that I'm a doctor is based on all of that. Yes. That concept. Okay. Now, I continually act to continue that. Yes, that's understood. Okay. You are, now, therefore, you have a conclusion. I got it. You have a concept that you are a doctor. Right. Because based on knowledge, experience, huh? right. everyday activity. Right, right. Pleasure and all the rest of it. Right. So, what is real in that? What is true in that? Real, let's keep act real in the sense, what do you mean? actual, actual. Well, that's a good question. What is actual? What do you no, mean? No, but, but it's so simple. What is actual in that? Your training. Right. Your right. knowledge. Right. Your daily operation. Right. That's all. The rest is a conclusion. But what is the rest now, could we? The rest, I'm, I'm very much better than somebody else. Right. Or else this thing is going to keep me uh, occupied in a, a good way. Good this way? Would... I'll never be lonely. Right. I uh, know about what's going to happen yeah. to so, X so, because, I, because I have this knowledge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, the, right? Well, that's part of it. I mean, but. Of course, much more. Right. So, go, yeah, go ahead. I want to hear what you say. But isn't there also a certain fear that. Uh, know that it may, that if I don't have this uh, of course, then of course. The things will be pretty bad you know right okay mm. and what and, and that that fear seems to and spur on the uh, of course uh, mm? and if and if the patients don't turn up then yeah, what then I have no fear money. right fear. fear then no then no activity, no activity. Right. so loneliness back. right back again mm. back. right that's right so or be occupied be occupied doing this completing mm. this concept yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Be occupied. Right. Now, is, do it's you... It's very important. Do you <laughs> realize how important that is to people, to all, uh, to all people, to be occupied? Of course they are. The, the, do, you, do you get the meat of that? Of course. How important it is to people to be occupied. So... I mean, um, you've got to see them running around to A house, housewife is occupied. Exactly. Mm? Remove that occupation. She said, she, please. What shall I do? Huh? Well, we have that as a fact. Since we've put electrical equipment into the houses, the women are going crazy. they got nothing to do with their time. But the, no, mm. the result of this, neglect of their children, neglect mm. right. of their children, then don't talk to me about it. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, let's go on. Now, we've got this fact, occupy. Occupy. Now, is this occupation an abstraction or actuality? Now, this is an actuality. Which? Actuality. I Which am is? actually occupied. No. Is the... What is it? <coughs> uh? I say, what is it? You're actually occupied. Hmm? Oh, yes. Daily. Daily. Well, what do you really mean by occupied? Do you see, this is the what question. Do you, what do you what mean I meant by occupied? I mean, I can say I'm actually doing all the operations. That's clear. I mean, I'm seeing patients as the doctor. Right. You know, you're the, going, to, you're going to do your thing. Doing my thing, getting my reward, and so on. Right. And, but I, I, occupied, it seems to me, has a psychological meaning that uh, further than that, that my mind is in that thing in a... See in a relatively harmonious way. I, there was something I saw on television once of a woman who was highly disturbed, and it showed on the encephalograph. But when she was occupied doing arithmetic sums, the encephalograph went beautifully smooth. Right. She right. stopped doing the sum, and it went all over the place. <laughs> uh, right. You see that, therefore, she had to keep on doing something to keep the brain working right. Mm -hmm. Which means what? Right. Well, yeah, go ahead. Well, what does it mean? A mechanical process. Yeah. That's right. And see, it seems the brain starts jumping all over the place unless it has this A thing, constant content. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, you have reduced yourself to your machine. <laughs> don't, don't say it. <laughs> Son of a gun. <laughs> no, that's not fair. But it's true. I have, I mean, it feels there is a mechanical... Um, Responses. Oh, yeah. Commitment. Of course. But why does the brain begin to go so wild when it's not occupied? I mean, that's right. See, the, you see oh. that's, the brain begins to jump around wildly when it's not occupied. You see, that seems because to be a common experience. Because in occupation, there's yeah. security. There's order, right? Order. 
the in occupation, there's a kind of mechanical, mechanical order. order. All right, so we feel that uh, our security really means we want order, is that right? That's it. Uh, we want order inside the brain. Yeah. That's right. That's we want it. to be able That's to project it. order into the future That's right. forever, right? That's right. And, but uh, well, you're just saying that you can get it by mechanical order. Well, uh, but then we get dissatisfied with it. You see, if you, you say, I'm getting sick, I'm bored with it, I'm sick of this mechanical life, I want something more interesting. You then see, the there's always gurus come in. <laughs> and then, see, and then, uh, then the thing goes wild again. You see, the mechanical order won't satisfy it because it works for a little while. Yeah, but I, I don't like the way that something is slipping in there. You say that we're going like from one thing to another. I'm looking for satisfaction and now I'm not satisfied. Well, I'm looking for... Uh, for some regular order, which is good, do you see? Mm -hmm. And I think that by my job as a doctor, I'm getting it. Yes. But after a while, I begin uh, to feel it's too repetitious. It's getting, I'm getting bored. Okay, but suppose that doesn't happen. Suppose well, that people it, become satisfied well, with they mechanical don't. order. Well, they don't really. I mean, th then they become dull, do you see? Yeah, they say? Mechanical, so mechanical, they don't... They, and you stop that mechanism, the brain goes wild. That's right, yeah. that's right. All right. Yeah. So they, uh, they may feel they're a bit dull and they would like some entertainment or something more interesting and exciting. Right? Mm -hmm. And uh, therefore there's a contradiction. You see, there's conflict and confusion, you see, in that whole thing. Because, there's something you see, for example, here. What is it well, take this woman me? who could always get her everything right by doing arithmetic sums, but she can't keep on doing arithmetic <laughs> sums. <laughs> I mean, somewhere she's got to stop doing these arithmetic sums. Right. And then her brain will go wild again. So he's asking, what is, what is disturbing him? He hasn't got, he feels he hasn't put his teeth mm -hmm, in. Yeah. What is, what is disturbing? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. What is disturbing you? Well, it's this feeling that, uh, that you see, people will say that, no, uh, you say, or you. I will say, uh, let's say I can get this order. I can get this mechanical order, and, and I can. Yes, you can. Uh, from occupying myself in something I like. Go on, proceed. And I can do, I mean, I can do it. I can do something I like, and it gets boring, let's say, or it might get repetitious, but then I will find new parts of it. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do that some more because that gives me a pleasure. Mm -hmm. See, I mean, I get a yeah. satisfaction out of it. But so I then I keep doing it. more of that. It's like an accumulative process. No, you move from one mechanical process, right, right. get bored with it, and move to another mechanical process. That's right. Bored with it and keep going. That's right. And that's that, right. That's what I. Uh, that's and you it. call that, And you call that living. Right. That, I that's see, what I call living. I see that the trouble in it is even if I accept all that, the trouble is I now try to be sure that I can keep on doing this because I can always anticipate a future when some when I won't be able to do it. You see, yeah, say I'll be a bit too old for the job, or I'll, you know, or else I'll fail, or you no, know, lose the job, or something. You see, in other words, I still have insecurity in that order. I see. I see essentially, point. essentially, it is mechanical disorder. Masking itself as order. Order. Yeah. How? Now, wait a minute. Do you see this? Or is it, is it still an abstract, an abstraction? As you know, idea, as, as Dr. Bohm will tell you, idea means observation, original root meaning, observation. Do you observe this? I see that, yes. I, I, I feel that I... I think I... Oh, no, I think... I, 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 I see that. I see what I see actually is I see this a movement that goes uh, doing this and then question very much like Piaget's theory, right? Mm -hmm. In other words, there's assimilation yeah. and accommodation, and then there's seeing what doesn't fit, and, and then there's on going it. on with it, and then there's more assimilation mm -hmm. and accommodation yeah. and going on with it. I mean, uh, the the psychologist Piaget, the French psychologist, describes this as the normity of human brain. Yes, this yes, is cognitive. Yes. You know this. Yes. I yeah, mean, but then so, I, mean, this is, I don't have to repeat it. I can observe it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Then, then you see, the point is the, uh, that um, are you driven to this because you're frightened of the instability of the brain? You see, you see that would mean being occupied with it. You see, mm -hmm. 
and it seems then that's disorder. You see, if you are doing something because you're trying to run away from the instability of the brain, that is al already a disorder. Right? Yeah. 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 In other words, that will merely be masking disorder. Yeah. Well, then you're suggesting that this is being that the natural disorder of the brain. Are you well, suggesting I don't know if it's natural. natural. No, I'm saying that the brain seems to be disordered. See, this seems to be a fact, right? That the brain without occupation go, tends to go into disorder. I mean, okay. Maybe without, at my, without the mechanics, we got this. That's what we know. Without the mechanics. So that's frightened of it. Right. Yes. Well, it is dangerous, actually, because it, you know, one feels it's dangerous if it keeps doing this. Of you don't course know what's it is dangerous. What's going to happen? I mean, I'll do all sorts of crazy things. Yes. All the neurotics, all you know, you know that business. In other words, I feel that, <laughs> yes. that the main danger comes from within. You see, saying that it absolutely. Now, if when you see it, observe it, there is action, which is not fragmented. I You see, uh, I see that one can feel, you see, that you do not know, at, uh, say, whether this disorder can stop, right? In other words, if you were assured that it could stop, the saying that the religion, you no, know, God will take care of it or something, then you would have security. Yes, right. That God will give you eternal bliss. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then well, you, you don't feel that anything, I mean, you don't feel that you, have, you can depend on anything. The nothing can control that disorder. You see, that this really that's seems to be the exactly. thing. That see, there is nothing that can control that disorder. You may take pills or you know, do various things, but it, uh, it's always there in the background. Right. Right. Quite now, right. I mean, I don't know whether we should say why. Uh, one question is why? Why? Why do we have this disorder? Do you see? Uh, is it, it, it if it were built into the structure of the brain, saying this is the human nature, then there would be no no way out, right? No, sir, I think the disorder arises, doesn't it? First, when we are mechanical process going on, uh, mm -hmm. and in that mechanical process, brain feels secure. Mm -hmm. And when that mechanical process is disturbed, it becomes insecure. Mm -hmm. Then it does it again. Again and again and, and, again, again, and, again, and again and again. It never stays with that no. insecurity. No, that no. Right. no. When it perceives this process mm -hmm. is still mechanical mm -hmm. and therefore disorder. Well, the question is why does the brain get caught in mechanism then, do you see? In other words, it seems we, in a situation the brain gets caught in a mechanical process. Because it's the safest, the well, most secure way of living. Well, it appears that way, but it, we've seen it's it, actually it very not dangerous. appears. It is so for the time being. For it, the time being, but in the long run, it's not. I in the long run. You're saying we're well, time bound. Are you saying we're initial? We're time bound, it conditioned is, to be time bound. No, conditioned to be time bound. Conditioned by our tradition, by our education, mm -hmm. by the culture we live in, and so on, so on, so on, to operate mechanically. To take the easy way. Easy way. But I see it's also mm -hmm. a kind of mistake to say, let's say in the beginning, uh, the mechanical way shows signs of being safer. And uh, th at the beginning, the brain makes a mistake, let's say, and says this is That's safer. Right. But then uh, that somehow it fails to be able to see that it has made a mistake. It, it holds to this mistake, right? See, in the beginning, you might call it an innocent mistake to say this looks safer and I will follow it. But then after a while, you're getting evidence that it's not so safe, but the brain begins to reject it, keep away from it. Well, I think, though, uh, you, could, you could raise the issue whether there aren't uh, certain given facts in child rearing. I mean, when the mother he feels a baby is crying and she jams a, a, a nipple in its yeah. mouth, that's teaching the baby that you shut up and take the easy no, way out. No, poor baby. <laughs> right? Well, there's a lot of conditioning. That, that's only the, the uh, mothers who don't want babies when that's they right. jam their nipple. That's right. Don't, don't, don't. That's right. <laughs> Well, I mean, that, that, that's part of the conditioning, which uh, explains how it uh, is propagated. But uh, you see, it still doesn't explain why the brain doesn't see th at some stage that it's wrong, you see. Why it doesn't see it at some stage that it's wrong? In other words, it continues in this mechanical process rather yeah. than seeing that it's wrong. You're asking, why doesn't it see that yeah. this mechanical process is essentially disorder. Yeah. It's disorder yeah. and dangerous. Dangerous and all well, yeah. In other words, it's a complete delusion. Yeah. Why the security is totally delusory. 
I mean, why isn't there some sort of feedback? In other words, I do something and it, it comes out wrong. At some point, I ought to realize that. Why don't I, re I mean, for instance, I see my life is mechanical. No, wait. But you I see it? But I, yeah, but I don't. Wait. Why is it mechanical? Well, it's mechanical because it goes like this. It, 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 it goes from, it's all action and reaction. Why is it mechanical? It's repetitious. It, which is mechanical. Which is mechanical. I want it to be easy. That's also mechanical. Yeah, cool. I want it to be up. easy. I, I'm con I feel that that gives me the most security mm -hmm. to keep it mechanical. Mm -hmm. uh, I get a uh, boundary. I know it's like you say, I have the house. I've got my mechanical life. That gives me security. Uh, it's mechanical because it uh, is repetitious. And but you haven't done to my I know I haven't. Right. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's mechanical. I'm not sure. What's your question? Your question is why... Has it become mechanical? Why has it become? And why does it remain mechanical? mechanical. Why, why it has remain? it become and remain mechanical? Oh, I think it remains mechanical, but it's the thing we began with. And ah, no, see. you're not, uh, if you pursue it, why, why does it remain mechanical? I don't see it's mechanical. No, and what has caused it to accept this mechanical prose way of living? I'm not sure I can answer that. The, the feel of it is, is that I would see the insecure. I would no, see... Sir, um, look, look, take, take hmm? wouldn't you be frightened? Yes, if there I would was see no, the uncertainty. Huh? I would no, see. no. If you, if the mechanical process of, of life right. would, on lives suddenly stop, wouldn't you fright? Would yes. you get frightened? Yes. Well, wouldn't there be some genuine danger? In, in some I, that of course. Hmm? There is a danger that things might will all go to pieces. Pieces. Right. right. Hmm? Well, it's deeper than that. It's, yeah, it's, we're going to find out. It, Come. It, it's uh, it's not just that there's a genuine danger, and I would be frightened. It feels like things would things take on a terribly moment by moment effect. No, sir. Look. You agree? Would would total order. Hmm? Give it complete security, wouldn't it? Total order. Mm -hmm. hmm? yeah. The brain wants total order. Right. Otherwise, it can't function properly. Right. Therefore, it accepts the mechanical mm -hmm. and, no, and hoping it won't lead to disaster. Right. Hoping you'll find order in there. Yeah, well, could you say that perhaps in the beginning the brain accepted this just simply not knowing that this mechanism yes. would really yes, lead to that's disorder, right, that's right. and it, it just went into it <coughs> by an innocent mistake, then, right? Yes. But then later, caught in a trap. It's, it's caught in a trap, you see, and somehow it's, it it maintains this disorder. It, it doesn't want to get out of it because it's frightened of greater disorder. Yeah, it says all that I built up may go to pieces. You Quite. see, in other words, I'm not in the same situation as when I first went in the trap. Because I, now I built up a great structure, yes, yes. and I right. think that structure will go to pieces. That's right. I heard one man. I, I nearly jumped, fell out of my seat. I heard one man say, "He says to another, turns to one of his colleagues. He says, I just published my thirteenth book.' <laughs> and he said it just like that. <laughs> he was, <laughs> the way he said no, it was sir, desperate. What I'm trying to get at: the brain needs this order. Otherwise, it can't function. It finds order in mechanical process because it's trained from childhood. Do as you are told, don't, etc., etc., etc. There is a conditioning going on right away mm -hmm. to live a mechanical life. Right. But there's also the fear induced of giving up this mechanism course, at the same time. I mean, in other words, that you are thinking all the time without this, uh, everything will go to pieces. Yes. Mm -hmm. Including especially the brain. Right? Brain, yes. And so they, they break from this mechanical business and join communities, uh, you know, all the mm -hmm. process, mm -hmm. which is still mechanical. Right, right. Which means the brain 
must have order. And finds order in mechanical way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, do I see, do you see mm -hmm. actually the mechanical way of living leads to disorder, which is tradition? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I live entirely in the past, Mm -hmm. which is very orderly, mm -hmm. I think it is very orderly, mm -hmm. and what takes place? Huh? I am already dead, huh? and I can't meet anything. I am repeating myself mm -hmm. always, right. Mm -hmm. So, please don't disturb my tradition. Mm -hmm. Communists say that, the Catholics say that, they follow the same thing. Right, right. And uh, every human says, please, I have found something which gives me order, a belief, a hope, this or that, mm -hmm. and leave me alone. Right. And life isn't going to leave me alone. Mm -hmm. So he gets frightened and establishes another mechanical habit. Do you see this whole thing? And therefore, an, an instant action of breaking it all away. And therefore, order. The brain then says, at last I have an order, mm -hmm. which is absolutely indestructible. Well, I think you see that it doesn't follow from what you said of that course. this will happen. You see, in other words, you, you are saying this. I'm saying it. Uh, I mean, uh, but it doesn't follow logically. But it, can, it will follow logically if we go into it. If we go into it. You see, can we reach a point where it really follows necessarily? You see, this. Uh, I think we can only go into it if you perceive the mechanical security which the brain has developed, attached, and cultivated. Let me share with you something, though. As you're talking, I find myself, I, I see it in a certain way, though. I see it like this, and, and don't uh, get impatient with me too quickly, but I see it this way. It's like I can see the, the mechanicalness, right? And I see that I see, and I was flashing through my mind various kinds of interchanges between people. And the way they talk, or the way I've talked to them at a party, at a cocktail party, mm -hmm. at a place, and it's all about what happened before. Quite, quite, you can quite. see them telling you who they are in terms of their past. Or I can what they see will be. what they will be. This guy I just described to you who said, I did my 13th book! <laughs> <laughs> he says like that. See? Yeah. Very important that I get that information. See. And this, I see this, and I see this elaborate structure. You see, this guy's got in his head, I'm going to think this about him, and then he's going to go to his university, and he's going to be thought that. He's always living, and we've got these, the whole structure is elaborate, right? Are you doing that? No. <laughs> When did you stop beating your wife? That's <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. Of course I'm yourself. doing it. I'm doing it right now. I'm seeing the structure right now. All yeah. this. I but, am. But do you see what we were saying yesterday? Fragmentary action is mechanical action. That's right. But it's there, Krishna Ji. It's there. That's the way we are. Uh, no, sir. Right. And therefore, Political action can never solve any problem. That's right. Human problem. Mm -hmm. Or the scientists in uh, as a fragment. But do you realize what you're saying? Let's really look at what you're saying. This is the way it is. This is the way life is. That's right. Right? Right. This is the way it is. Years and years and years therefore, history. Therefore, of it. why don't you change it? That's right. 
but this is the way it is. I mean, we live in terms of our structures. We live in terms of our histories. We live in terms of our mechanics. We live in terms of our forms. This is the way we live. Uh, which means, as we were saying at Oha, when the past meets the present right. and ends there, there's a totally different thing taking place. Yes. But the present, the past doesn't meet the present so often. I mean, the well, problem is... It's taking place now. Now it's mm -hmm. coming, right now, right. <laughs> We're seeing it now. But therefore, can you stop that? We must see it totally. <laughs> no. The fact, simple fact. fact, the past meets the present. Right. That's a fact. All right, let's see. How does the past meet the present? Let's go into that more. We've got four minutes. Oh, just well, four how minutes. do you say it? How do you say the past meets the present? You've got two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think that, uh, just briefly, that the, the past meeting the present um, stops, you see, that, that it, uh, the past is generally active in the present toward the future, right? Now, when the past uh, meets the present, then, then the past stops acting. Mm -hmm. And that, that what I mean, the thought stops acting so that, so that order comes about. Do you think the past meets the present, or the present meets the past? Uh, no. What is, how do you meet me? I meet you in the present. No. <laughs> how do you meet me? You have all the memories, right. all the images, the reputation, the words, the picture, right. the symbol, right. all that, with that which is the past, you meet me now. That's right, that's right. Well, I come to you with a comfort. A no, 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 no. You, the past is meeting the present. Right. Well, aren't you saying that the past... That's right. No, that, that, yeah, go ahead. That the past should stop meeting the present. I mean, <laughs> No, he's not saying Are that. Are you? You can't I, say that. I'm saying something. He, oh, yeah. He's right. <laughs> no, but you can't <laughs> let him say it. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is the past <laughs> meets the present. And then? Can the past end there? Yes. Not... Move forward. Can it? That's. But is that the right question, or is it when the pa what is the past meeting the present? Past. What is that action? I meet you with a picture. But why should I stop? I'll show it to you. Ah. I meet you with the past, my memories, but you might have changed all that in the meantime. So I never meet you. I meet you with the past. Right. That's a fact. That's a fact. Now, if I don't have that movement going on... And I do. <laughs> hmm. Of course you do. But I, I say that that is disorder. I can't meet you then. Right. How do you know that? I only know... <coughs> I don't know it. I only know... The fact that when the past meets the present and continues, it is one of the factors of time movement, bondage, all the fear and all the rest. So, if when there is the past meeting the present and says, yes, I'm fully aware of this, completely aware of this movement, then it stops. Then I meet you as though for the first time there is something fresh and it's like a new flower coming out. Yes, and that, that... Now I think, you see, we'll go on in this afternoon or tomorrow. We haven't really tackled the, the root of all. The root, the cause or the root of all this is this disturbance, this turmoil, mm, this yes. travail, this anxiety, this... You follow? Mm -hmm. Yes, why should the brain be in this wild disorder? I know, why? Mm -hmm. 
you who are a doctor, an analyst and all the rest of it, you, you have to ask that fundamental question, why? Right. Why do human beings live this way? Right. Why do they? That, that I, I ask that all the time. Why are human beings sick? Time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> A double answer.